So now that we know the concept of match types, uh, I'll show you how to add or to change match types of keywords uh, from the Google Ads account. Okay. Now one thing to remember is match types are an attribute of keywords. Okay. So you cannot um, change the match type or add match types to campaign or ad groups. Match types can be added only at keyword level. Okay. Um, but one more thing I would like to add is match types help you save a lot of money. Um, with match types, you make sure that your ad is getting triggered only for relevant searches and you're not wasting any money. Okay. You're avoiding any wastage of your precious budget. Okay. So match type is very, very important. It helps you save a lot of money, um, thus improving your ROI. So this is how you add match types. So first I'll go to my campaigns, right? I'll click the campaign option. And then on the right hand side, I'll select keywords. So basically I'm telling Google, show me all the keywords within this campaign. If you do this, you will be able to see all the keywords from ad group number one, ad group two and ad group three together. They all will be visible. Okay. If you say uh, I'm selecting this campaign and keywords. So these are the keywords belonging to all the three ad groups within. But if you want to change the match type of individual ad groups, then you will select ad group on the left hand side and then keywords on the right hand side search keywords. Okay. So these are the keywords belonging only to eligibility ad group. Okay. So here you will have to select the keywords and change the match type. But then again, you'll have to go to EMI ad group, EMI keywords and change their match type. Then go to interest and change the match type. So you have to do the work or the job three times. So the simplest method is you select the campaign and you select keywords. This will give you list of all the keywords belonging to these three ad groups. Okay. So you have to change their match types only once in this case. How? By selecting all the keywords together. Can you see this box? I'll just select this. It selects all the keywords within. Okay. So the keywords that have been selected belong to all the three groups, ad groups. I will go to edit and scroll down till you see change keyword text, change match types. Can you see change match types? I'll select change match types. Now, right now, there are no symbols before and after the keyword. That means our keywords are in broad match. Okay. If there is no symbol, um, then the keywords are in broad match. And by default, your keywords will be in broad match. So I want to change my keywords from broad match to let me select phrase match. I'm selecting phrase match because the keywords related to home loan have a decent amount of search volume. Okay. But if you are uh, creating a campaign for a niche business, like, uh, like Fongsar industries, Bello sealed walls, or let's say, let us assume electroplating services in Mumbai, right? So the search volume of such keywords of niche keywords is very, very low. In that case, you should never use phrase match and exact match. Okay. You should go for modified broad match. So if you are targeting keywords from a niche background, niche, uh, niche business, then you should use modified broad match. And if you are targeting keywords, which have a very, um, which have a decent or a very high search volume, like digital marketing course or home loan, in that case, you can go for phrase or exact match. Let me select phrase match and apply. So when I hit the apply button, you should be able to see double inverted commas before home and after calculator. Okay. Because uh, phrase match is denoted with the help of double inverted commas. Okay. Let's select the apply button and let's see what happens. Can you see double inverted commas before home and after calculator, right? Same over here, same over here. Okay. That is what phrase match is. So with the help of phrase match, you can reduce a lot of irrelevant clicks. Okay. Now, one more thing is remaining. We want to add negative keywords. Now, how do we add negative keywords, which are also called as exclusions, right? So negative keywords can be added at campaign level as well as ad group level. If your list of negative keywords is going to be same across all the ad groups, then I suggest you add negative keywords at campaign level. 
okay so ideally you should do that you should add negative keywords at campaign level and not ad group level if you decide to add it at ad group level then you'll have to add it to ad group 1 ad group 2 ad group 3 so you have to work thrice as much but if you add it at campaign level you have to implement negative keywords only once it will apply to all the ad groups within so let's see how we apply negative keywords so left campaign right now this time instead of search keywords we'll go to negative keywords and this is where we add negative keywords so i'll select the plus sign and it says add negative keywords or create a new list if you have a list you can select this one if you want to manually type in negative keywords then select the first option and add to campaign level or ad group level as i just told you add them at campaign level one negative keyword per line okay so now this campaign is for home loan and i don't want to uh, show my ad for words like personal like for personal loan for gold loan for two wheeler for vehicle for education loan right so i want to tell google that don't trigger my ad if the user search query contains words like personal education gold okay so don't trigger my ads if the search query contains any of these words so how do we tell this to google so start typing one word per line in negative keyword area so i'll write gold personal education vehicle please don't add loan as a negative keyword else your ad won't get triggered even for home loans okay so don't add loan over here vehicle mortgage renovation free because some people search for free home loans or zero interest home loans right so let us add zero as well zero and i guess that's it but this list can always be edited you can later on add more uh, negative words as well i'll go ahead and save this list save and that's it you have just changed the match type of the keywords and you have just added negative keywords at campaign level.